theorem 8.5 tells us that if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then its consecutive angles, so the angles that are side by side, are supplementary. So what we see is that if we have a parallelogram, well, we already know that opposite angles are congruent. But that tells us also that A is supplementary to B. So the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B equals 180. We also know that B is supplementary to C. Measure of angle B plus measure of angle C equals 180. C is supplementary to D. Measure of angle C plus measure of angle D equals 180. And D is supplementary to A. The measure of angle D plus the measure of angle A equals 180. Thus, if I was just focusing on one angle, angle A, angle A is congruent to angle C and supplementary to both angle B and angle D. Theorem 8.6 tells me that if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then its diagonals bisect each other, which means this. If I have a parallelogram, I can draw in two diagonals. Which intersect at some point. What we see though is that BE is congruent to ED. And that AE is congruent to EC because the two diagonals here bisect each other. They cut each other in half perfectly. Please note at this section, it does not mean that your diagonals, it doesn't mean that this blue line is congruent to the red line. They're not, they're not gonna be the same length, not unless we actually have a square. But it does mean that each diagonal is cut perfectly in half. And let's look at an example. So in this picture below, and yes, A, B, D, C is a parallelogram. I want you to solve for the indicated values on the left. So given the information, I want you to solve for ED, solve for BC, measure of angle CAB, measure of angle ABD, and the measure of angle EBD. Pause your video, take a moment to do this on your own, when you're ready, resume the video and check your solution. Okay, let's start with these diagonals. So I have diagonal AE, where, or AD, where AE is three, which means ED is also three. I then have diagonal CB, where CE is five, so EB is also five but it's asking for BC. So that entire diagonal is five plus five, which is 10. All right, let's look at measure of angle CAB. CAB is this angle here, this entire angle. We already know that angle DA DCA up here is 70. Well, this big blue angle and the big red angle are supplementary. Meaning if C is 70, then A is going to be 180 minus 70, which equals 110 degrees. All right. We also then know that ABD is congruent to its opposite angle of 70 degrees. And so if the smaller angle here, ABE, is 30, then EBD must be 40. And that's it.